Hello everyone, welcome back to the FT Simulation channel. In this video, we are going to discuss diesel two-stroke engine. Diesel engines generally use the four-stroke engine concept to generate power in each cycle, which consists of the intake stroke, compression stroke, combustion stroke, and exhaust stroke. These four processes occur over two rotations of the engine, or four strokes. For those who are unfamiliar, engine strokes refer to the movement of the piston from TDC, top dead center, to BDC, bottom dead center, and vice versa. Moving on, aside from the four-stroke diesel engine, there's also a diesel engine that uses a two-stroke concept, where the four processes mentioned earlier are completed in just one engine rotation or two strokes. Even though on the surface, two-stroke diesel and gasoline engines seem to work similarly, these two engines have different working principles, history, functions, purposes, and of course, different components as well. The two-stroke diesel engine itself was first discovered by a German engineer born in 1866 named Frank Hugo Goldner in 1899, precisely when Hugo was 33 years old. However, the first two-stroke diesel engine couldn't achieve good fuel consumption or sufficient power, which led to the project being abandoned in 1901. Then, in 1908, the engine was further developed by M. Ann Nuremberg and successfully sold to the government to be applied in submarines and power generators. The government's interest in this engine led to further significant development. But the success didn't stop there. The engine was considered to have good potential, attracting the attention of General Motors Research Corporation, GM, to help further develop this two-stroke diesel engine. And sure enough, through development, the two-stroke diesel engine managed to achieve a much better power-to-weight ratio, PWR, compared to the four-stroke diesel engine, allowing this two-stroke diesel engine to be applied in locomotive engines as well. GM also developed the Detroit diesel two-stroke engine. So, that's a brief history. Now, let's discuss the components of the two-stroke diesel engine and how it works. Parts and Working Mechanism Moving on to the components. In general, two-stroke gasoline and diesel engines have similar parts. The difference in the two-stroke diesel engine lies in the use of a supercharger to supply air into the combustion chamber, the use of valves, a separate combustion chamber from the crankcase. This means that air from the atmosphere is directly supplied into the combustion chamber without passing through the crankcase, unlike the two-stroke gasoline engine. Lastly, there is no spark plug, as in diesel engines, the expansion happens on its own, also known as auto-ignition. Okay, those are the components of the two-stroke diesel engine. Now let's move on to how the system works. We'll simulate with the initial position of the piston at TDC. Like most engines, the piston will move from TDC to BDC when an expansion occurs. At the same time, the crankshaft rotation will also be transmitted to the supercharger through a pair of pulleys and a belt called the 17 belt. Next, when the piston passes the intake port, the supercharger will supply air into the combustion chamber. At the same time, the exhaust valve will open, allowing the exhaust gas to be pushed out as fresh air comes in. When the piston is at BDC, the momentum gained from the previous ignition process will push the piston back towards TDC to compress the air. Here, the air being forcibly compressed will experience a temperature increase. Then, 15 degrees before the piston reaches TDC, the injector will supply fuel into the combustion chamber to get the right timing for self-ignition. When the piston reaches TDC, the fuel mixed with high-pressure and high-temperature air will spontaneously combust, known as auto-ignition or self-ignition. Since diesel engines do not use a spark plug, to maximize the power generated by the engine, the injector will continue supplying fuel until the crank pin on the crankshaft reaches 20 degrees from TDC. After this, the expansion pushes the piston back down to BDC, completing one power cycle in the two-stroke diesel engine. Okay, that's the power cycle. You might be wondering about the lubrication process. In a two-stroke diesel engine, the lubrication process is almost the same as in a four-stroke engine. Since the crankcase isn't responsible for supplying air, the crankcase space can be used to store oil. The stored oil is pumped by an oil pump to the oil filter and then supplied to lubricate the crankshaft, metal, 
piston rod, and even the piston itself through small channels found in each moving part, known as oil passages. Additionally, in large two-stroke diesel engines, such as those in submarines, oil is directly supplied to the cylinder walls or the cylinder liner, which some of you might know as boring. This is possible because submarine engines are massive and run at very low speeds, around 100 RPM during operation. Furthermore, as we know, this engine is still undergoing development. For example, the opposed piston engine we discussed in the previous video, along with other advancements, make it possible for the two-stroke diesel engine to be mass-produced and sold to the public. Just like the opposed piston engine, we still have to wait. Okay, that's the information we can provide about the two-stroke engine in this video. As usual, if any of you have questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Also, press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications when we upload new videos. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching!